underground genre but again we have reviewed uh, underground genres in the past it's all right and the first single it's called uh, sparkle sparkle by fiona fiona sparrow fiona sparrow yeah i like the name i like the name of that project sounds very yes don't do it see when when i don't have words to describe something i'm going to use my hands and body or whatever we have to put it to use somehow right you're still the, the matter of this weird thing like i, I like i like doing faces before like doing like this like this or like like make evil eyebrows like this or like this but i want to do this something different now i don't know just something something new like maybe like this like this hello there yeah this 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 girl is actually quite fine and the horror the, the thing is that i can use the t p p the p or the b because those are required, those need the lips to work. So yes, that's a no. Or maybe I just can swap them for another plosive. Okay, there. I think we can manage like this. Uh, so the the first single, it's called Sparkle. <laughs> Scarcal, circle, star. Uh, it has this whole no suit, all no suit, editative. It's very editative, throwing on the electric locals are way far out, like a change in the houses. Neo, neo, neo psychedelia. Neo psychedelia, and they are more focused on doing sound than doing song. I like music that is more like a painting instead of, you know, a song. It's 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 a very nice thing, you know. And the and the single Fiona Sparkle. And you know, you know, I actually thought the vocals were beautiful. The trunk track it starts to accelerate slowly, and, in, and the song starts to get more and more tense. Wait, you are you are this, and the song is doing like this, like you have like this, like. I forgot the word in English. There are so many things happening in the song, so many electronics that are just dancing around, and then the rhythm drum track section starts to dance around on its own, and then it gets really, really tense, and then it just slows down completely until you just end up with the atmosphere. It's a pretty nice uh, painting of a song. And you know, the imagery of um, Fiona Spiral is very, abstract and surreal like there is a lot of colors but colors that you see when there is static on the television or when your um, video file is corrupted like those kind of corrupted colors like and the EP is also very interesting the EP is called love and dream and always screaming I actually Wow, what a great title. I really like that. It's a pretty, pretty nice title. Love and dream and always screaming. Wow, that doesn't like a great name for a band or an artist. Love and dream and always screaming. <laughs> Love and dream and always screaming. Isn't that, 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 that EP is literally me. It's me. I am the EP title. I am the EP title. Love and dream and always screaming. <laughs> okay, sorry. I just got a little excited for just an EP title. But when there are things that I like, I just have to, you know, say it. Wait, actually, actually, it seems that the, the, the single is Love and dream and always screaming. And the EP is Sparkle. Now, we could re-record everything we did right now, or we can just continue. The first track of this EP is called Orbiting a Solar Star, and, you know, it's, it's very surreal. Yes, yeah, surreal. It has this 
magical electronics maybe you can say that they are i mean they are it's just an electronic production but it feels very magical and this sound reaches to you like waves of noise waves of noise like and there are some breathing like a breath maybe of a creature and then you hear like a bell and you end up with only the atmosphere only the atmosphere is ethereal but scary the second track well in the second track the breathing gets heavier and heavier the sounds just get closer to you they grab you from the sides and they don't let you move anywhere like like this like this like this there are some vocals that are reciting something uh, but i'm not really sure what they're saying i just got some words but it sounds weird and alien then after this they continue reciting something to you they start to murmur to themselves. There is a lot of images that you can get with music that is not focused on the art of song, just the sound. The background noises stop and then the only the ominous scenes stay. Alien voices murmur in something and leaves and we are left alone with the atmosphere on its own and then it repeats the lyrics more and more and then it just suddenly ends. The thing is that I really love the noise. The noise in this EP is never harsh. And so if you just want sound for the sake of sound, this is one of the tracks that will, you enjoy the most. Noise always shares everything. And this feels like a fast, open faucet of sound. Like if you have a faucet and you open it, but you don't get water, you get sound. I mean, I guess you get sound as well when you open a faucet, that's a given. But um, imagine if, if 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 it just had sound and you could open different faucets of different sounds. You know what I mean? So in this world, in this dream, we open a faucet and, you, and we get this sound. And the third track goes back in reverse until it turns back to where everything came from. I don't know if that makes sense. Like reviving a creature going back in time. No. I don't know how to explain the sensation this track is giving me. Oh. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, the third track was also pretty great. Pretty, pretty great, 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 great. The, so yeah, the third track was pretty great. And the fourth track called Girl. 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 And it has it's slightly a bit of a trap beat, I guess, but the weird noises are Play, are playing around it and um, the vocals also bounce around yes yeah yeah, yeah. the scenes feel like rain like they behave like rain like they fall sometimes and you hear the scenes so if there was like a world of sound and there was the rain wasn't water but sound it would fall like that like the rain produces a sound yeah, it's like a world made of sound. I also heard some scenes around the end that sound like dopes in the distance, but like electronic dopes. The pictures of a world with just its own rules and its own logic where everything is different. So I really, really like this kind of music. Who will I recommend this single on this EP if you want something that is scary, but surreal, ominous, and it paints a whole beautiful but weird um, uh, world of sound. Check this out. But if you're looking for songs, you will most likely not like this at all. You will just probably don't get it. And you know why? Because you are not cool enough. <laughs> okay, don't no, actually no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So love and dream and always a screaming should be I mean this kind of music is always associated with drugs because that's what people describe they see when they have drugs. They say, Whoa, I love drugs or whatever. I mean personally I don't know, just kinda of... I guess, I guess, I guess I could resort again to flowers. Flowers are usually the safe bet for ratings, but it doesn't feel... Oh, I have an idea! A nuclear flower! Because there, there is in Fallout 76, when you drop a nuke, 
and mm. the whole song gets nuked and then you can collect harvest radioactive flowers and I don't know if that is a thing aside from the real world but I feel that it could, it could be like a radioactive flower um, because it's like a world, different different world I mean if you nuke you don't get reactive flowers right you just destroy everything but in a different world where there are radioactive flowers you have that world made of sound in our real world though flowers and radioactivity don't mix it's like putting a guitar solo in the middle of a symphony unexpected and quite out of place but who knows maybe in some parallel universe these flowers exist so for the single love and they are always screaming could be like mm, uh, clama Cladioli. Yeah, for the single, the single is a Clama Cladioli. And DP is an uranium lavender because it's kind of purple, but it's radioactive purple. And that's all what we have to do today with the single, with the DP. We had fun, we had a lot of fun. I think we had I mean, come on. I mean, I, I, I think we had fun. I'm starting to enjoy your company, you know? I mean, our dynamic is not quite there yet, but, but you're a good listener. I think you're a good listener. The, the best thing about a friend is be, the best quality you can have in a friend is having, being a good listener, I guess. <laughs> I don't want to go. Okay, fine. I just will stay here around, like doing my doing 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 whatever. I know, I know. You have to break the nervousness and anxiety when I finish my videos, because if I don't break that anxiety, all the videos are going to become super long, and then it's just going to be a lot of time to edit them. Okay, I got it. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope that you enjoy the music and goodbye, my wonderful souls. I hope the universe serves you well. See ya.